there's our little uh, uh, go kit case uh, to hold all the accessories that goes in the bottom of the kit. We'll show you that uh, in a little bit. You can see uh, the boom uh, from the mic right over here. Um, and uh, uh, we'll uh, go on to the next slide, which shows us uh, a little bit about the uh, uh, magnetic uh, uh, mount antenna. Um, uh, the reason why we went with a, an additional magnetic mount antenna was uh, to help us get on the air uh, uh, more quickly. We uh, felt that if a uh, base antenna needs to go up on the roof of a shelter or uh, um, in an area that would require uh, a ladder or special access and we need to get on the air quickly, uh, we uh, use a uh, magnetic antenna and uh, we'll provide you with some, just, some suggestions in a moment about uh, how to uh, mount that uh, antenna. Um, here you see the antenna mounted uh, inside the inside cover of uh, the Go Kit. Uh, this uh, uh, Go Kit um, a case, by the way, is a Pelican case. It's a model uh, 1620. That's uh, 1620. Um, and uh, we'll cover a little bit more about that also in a moment. Uh, we've uh, mounted the uh, 110 volt uh, outlet strip uh, permanently to the inside of the uh, Go Kit cover, uh, mainly to keep it from uh, disappearing uh, in a shelter. We figure if it's bolted down, uh, it probably uh, won't uh, go for a walk. Uh, uh, here's a quick uh, set of photos on assembling the uh, antenna rod to the uh, uh, loading coil. Uh, that's the uh, Larson uh, NMO uh, for correction, NMO 2 slant uh, 70 dual band uh, antenna. Um, and um, again, here you see it uh, fully assembled. And uh, when uh, it needs to be uh, connected to a uh, uh, longer piece of transmission line, the uh, barrel connectors are uh, in the go kit and just join them together. Uh, this kit, uh, uh, as I said earlier, contains uh, a total of five lengths of uh, coax for our uh, correction three. 50 foot runs of RG8 and uh, two 25 foot runs of uh, RG8X. Um, always uh, look for a quick mounting location to get on the air uh, as soon as uh, possible. Any sort of metal surface that uh, metal surface that will hold the uh, magnet in place uh, is recommended. Uh, file cabinet, a metal shelf, um, a folding chair, a vehicle. And if uh, all that fails, uh, then uh, maybe even just a piece of aluminum foil uh, from the kitchen of the shelter, uh, you know, a two foot length of aluminum foil sitting flat on your operating desk and just uh, set uh, the magnet onto it. Uh, hopefully it won't get bumped and uh, that uh, uh, aluminum uh, foil will uh, give you the ground plane uh, you would like uh, um, uh, to operate with. Um, over here we can see uh, the uh, um, uh, the case with uh, all the hardware in it uh, and it goes into the uh, um, the Pelican case first. Um, uh, we see uh, over here uh, the uh, microphone wrapped in bubbles and it's just kind of wedged in underneath uh, the front of the radio. We'll show you uh, the radio uh, in a close-up uh, in a little bit. We've got uh, sitting over here uh, is the power supply and between the radio and the power supply is the rig runner and uh, the uh, uh, PG40S uh, battery conditioner. Um, we then see the uh, extension cable placed into the uh, a pelican case. Um, uh, by the way, you can see the coax cable running from 
the uh, wall through in the Pelican case uh, and it hooks up to the radio. Uh, here we have uh, uh, all five pieces of coax uh, in the case. Uh, I got a piece, a little piece of foam which we've modified uh, since uh, and uh, to replace the envelope with all the uh, uh, instruction and operating guides uh, we've attached a, uh, uh, a waterproof uh, Ziploc bag on the inside front cover of uh, the go kit itself. Um, the go kit has a handle like you would see on a suitcase. Uh, you just uh, push uh, the little uh, activator in the uh, on the back panel of the uh, Pelican case and lift up on the handle and uh, you can see over here uh, the handle in its extended position and you can see the uh, uh, wall through for uh, the coax cable uh, where we're going to hook our, our coax to uh, externally. Um, uh, and you can see here the uh, coax uh, being readied to hook up to the, um, the Pelican case. Um, we'll move on to the uh, 100 ampere hour uh, sealed jail cell battery. Uh, this little puppy weighs uh, 67 pounds. Uh, it um, uh, charges through uh, the uh, PG40S um, that we'll talk about in a little bit uh, that's uh, in the uh, in the go kit and it's all uh, contained uh, in a, uh, a marine uh, style uh, battery holder um, we can see the 12 volt cord coming out the side with the fuse in line uh, again some more shots of it uh, um, uh, here's a uh, close-up of uh, the fuse holder. This is a uh, fuse holder from uh, uh, the power pole people. Uh, it uh, uh, contains uh, two uh, 40 amp fuses. Um, and you can see them uh, here uh, with the, uh, uh, the fuse holder uh, opened up. Um, the uh, battery itself has a dedicated uh, uh, hand truck to it. It's uh, uh, called a uh, Magna Cart, and it's uh, available on uh, Amazon.com uh, under um, a Magna Cart personal hand truck. Um, they sell for about uh, $33, and um, uh, it's got a collapsible handle, and in fact, uh, when removed uh, from the uh, uh, the battery, it can uh, store uh, uh, under a uh, shelf or uh, uh, in a very very narrow place. Um, uh, when it comes time to remove the uh, go kit from uh, its uh, normal resting place, uh, um, uh, you would unplug the 110 volt cord from the wall. Uh, the uh, go kit itself is uh, always left plugged in and the battery conditioner uh, keeps the uh, battery um, uh, with a uh, topped off charge 24-7. Uh, um, so you unplug the power cord from the wall, you unplug the uh, load side of the uh, f uh, fuse holder from the, um, uh, the wire going into the Pelican case and uh, off you go when you get uh, to your destination uh, if you have 110 volts you can plug it back in uh, and plug the battery back on uh, uh, by uh, reconnecting the uh, power pole uh, connector here or uh, if uh, you, uh, you, ha you don't have 110 volts you can uh, run uh, probably for uh, several days anywhere from uh, three to uh, five days uh, off of this uh, 100 ampere hour battery obviously depending on how much transmitting you're doing 